Tonight, we take a closer look at an inspection happening at the Millstone Power Plant. Contractors are searching for defects in a crucial piece of equipment there. News 8 Scott McDonald and Kellyanne Jones show us how this is tied to an internal investigation. If you see right here, there's a small inclusion on that metal. This is what contractors are searching for. So well, what Dominion is going to be doing is looking for using an ultrasonic testing rig, just very similar to a medical ultrasound. Jeff Semantic is the director of the, the radiation division for the State Department of Energy and Environmental Protection. See if they find any of the uh, specific cracks or imperfections. Those imperfections, as so he calls the them, may be on Unit so 2's pressurizer. That's where the component is. It's a key piece of equipment and it's integral to safety, but new information information shows that it may be defective. The pressurizer at Millstone was made in France at a manufacturing facility called Creuset Forge. Late last year, the French government started investigating it for forging documents about the quality of their products. The NRC came out with a list of uh, U.S. plants that had large components that were manufactured in the same facility, uh, and one of those was the pressurizer at Millstone Unit 2. There are 16 other plants across the U.S. with parts made at that facility in France. France, yet Millstone is the only one so far doing an investigation. The state of Connecticut had come to us with some questions. We had some discussions with them, and then ultimately we decided to, to do some testing. To Millstone power plant spokesman Ken Holt says they're going the extra mile. And industry expert Dave Lockbaum with a union of concerned scientists say that's the right approach. Dominion has a track record of not waiting for the Nickel Regulatory Commission to push them to check for safety, but to voluntarily ensure that their plants are safe. Connecticut officials encouraged Millstone to do so as well. You have to have that confidence in the safety functions of all the components. Connecticut's nuclear plant is a step ahead of others around the country, but activists think more should be done by the federal regulators, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Please assure us that these are not nuclear lemons. Nancy that Burton's organization, Connecticut Coalition Against Millstone, is party to a national petition demanding that all plants with parts from this French factory be shut down for inspection. Because anytime you have a key safety component in a nuclear power plant that may have defective parts that render it more susceptible to embrittlement, cracking, fracturing, and all of that, that's a problem. Burton's activism against Millstone began while spending summers on Mason's Island with her family. It was a wonderful place to have my children come and play in the summertime. But she soon discovered that she had a nearby neighbor that made her feel uneasy. Unfortunately, I had occasion to read every now and then in the local newspaper accounts of events at Millstone. As she prepares the cottage for her grandkids this summer, her mind is on Millstone. I never come here without thinking about it. Even as she tries to catch a jellyfish, she's thinking about how jellyfish are known to clog pipes of nuclear reactors. And they, I think they've even led to shutdowns. While her own dream of forcing a shutdown of Millstone is still unrealized, Lockbaum says her efforts help. Well, I think the activists' efforts help the NRC get to their answer quicker. And those answers will come after Millstone's inspection today. But as Burton waits for results, she looks ahead to the summer with her grandchildren. Once you live in a nuclear evacuation zone, uh, it's your home. And if you constantly obsess over the risks and the dangers, you can make yourself sick. Scott McDonald, News 8.